All right, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a new video. And today's topic um, for part nine, this one I want to explain and go over the camera raw filter. Um, this filter I use very, very frequently. Um, I use it a lot in pretty much every single work I do. It's a very, very useful um, filter, obviously. Yeah, I'm just gonna be going over some ways you can use it and what you could do with it. So, um, obviously right now, this is only part nine of the series. So right now, um, we're just going over some tools, just lightly, briefly touching on some uh, different areas of Photoshop to get you more familiar with it and uh, for what each thing does. Before we actually get on to, you know, practicing and making some mini projects of our own in which we're going to go in more detail of why we're using each tool in different situations. So for example, maybe a couple parts, a couple episodes down uh, the line, we're gonna use the camera raw filter for, you know, in GFX we're making and during that part, I'm going to explain, you know, what we're doing with each slider. And uh, I'm going to explain exactly why I'm using the camera raw filter. But for this part, I just want to introduce you guys to the tool. All right, so as you can see here, I have the image I made from uh, the previous parts. And I have all these layers here. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the top layer. I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and click on this one right here. This is going to select all the layers in between. I'm going to hit control G on my keyboard to make a group. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new layer. Go up to image and hit apply image right here. All right, I'm gonna hit okay. And now I'm just gonna, now I'm just gonna uh, turn off the group. And as you can see, I have this layer by itself. Now I'm gonna hit control J on my keyboard to make a copy of this layer. All right, now let's get on with the camera raw filter. We're gonna go up to filter and we're gonna hit camera raw filter right here. And this is going to open up with a ton of options here. So let's go over uh, the basic. If yours don't look like mine, um, you probably need to update your Photoshop or if your Photoshop is a more recent or um, updated version than mine, but I forgot which one mine is, but as you can see, it's a camera raw 12.3. I forgot my Photoshop version, but anyways, we got basic, we got profile, um, you see a lot of options here, graduated filter, uh, adjustment brush, spot removal. These are all um, advanced stuff for later, but right now we're just gonna focus on these sliders. So we got exposure, which if you turn it up, it will adjust the exposure, just with that. Um, turn this one, let's go. I kinda like this look right here, but let's keep it on here. Next one, we got contrast. Um, I'm gonna turn this up like that. We got highlights. Okay, I'll put it like this. Shadows. This is a pretty cool look. Got the whites, blacks right here. Just these. Next, we got texture, which um, you can see the drastic difference this one makes. We got clarity. Same thing uh, for clarity. If you turn this up, you might want to adjust uh, these settings too. It's kind of um, match them a bit more, so they're more they flow with each other more. The haze, and we got vibrance. I'm actually gonna lower vibrance. I don't want it too bluish. Matter of fact, saturation. So Let's go into curve. Um, right here, you can change the channels, red channel, green, and blue. Uh, this is the black and white. Let's see what it does. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, next we got detail. Um, sharpening, noise reduction. This uh, makes it look smooth and blurred. Um, if you want this, you could 
have this uh, and erase it in some parts, I think it's pretty cool. Um, you don't want too much though. So just a little bit, we got color mixer. You have the hue, saturation, luminance right here. You can go through all those, split toning, split toning, shadows, optics. We have vignettes, as you can see. Um, effects, uh, grain, calibration. All right, we're just gonna hit okay. And you can see the before right here. If you thought the before looked nice, see the after right here. Now you see we're getting a really nice scene here. Um, <laughs> we got the watermark here. I forgot to remove that, <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Um, if we go ahead and use a rectangle tool on the color black, and we just add some black bars. Turn fill on. Oops. Okay. And now we got a really cinematic scene going on here. If you see how far we came from the first image right here by i5k, uh, <laughs> this was the very original from the first part. We added some effects. Um, this is part two, some adjustment layers. This is uh, not part two, um, you know what I mean. Uh, more effects right here, and now we got this scene. I think it's really cool. Let me know what you guys think. But this is part nine. Um, I'm going to start recording um, and think about what we should do for the next part. But uh, yeah, if this helps you guys, make sure to you know leave a like, subscribe, check out our store. Um, right now we only got three products up but we're working on getting the UIs imported. So we're going to be selling imported studio, studio imported UI and the free UIs will also be studio imported as well. So you don't have to, you know, uh, open up, open it up in Photoshop and export yourself. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I will see you guys next time.